Another edition of, you know, the Naked Nose. I'm sorry, did I give you one? Not? I don't know. Okay, anyway, well, there it is. It all was a glory. Oh, it's so mad. Um, today's episodes are brought to you by Glysomed, and you notice that there is a chakra, a green chakra, in the palm of your hand, and you need to understand that's for everyone. That's even for your dog and your cat. You do have chakras that you can use to direct conscious energy. They're there and everywhere. Why do you need to know that? Well, in the olden days, they, in the Christian church, they called that hands-on healing. Yeah, you can use, you know, the chakras in your hands, you know, like a little kid falls down, goes boom, and, you know, you'll give them a hug. Well, that's your heart chakra, giving them an enormous amount of love. But, you know, whatever it is, if it's a sore ankle, you can put your hand on the ankle and you can direct love right in there. Now, it's energetic. Yeah, it's not just, it's more, it's more than a feeling. It's energetic. It's chi, which is life energy. So you're sending life energy. The best you got. Is there different versions of chi? Somebody's going to say there's negative chi. They're called loosh. If you're in an angry mood and you do hands-on healing, is it possible you'll send a horrible angry energy through your hands um, like it was electricity uh, weapon used by the evil emperor in Star Wars? Okay, the first answer we got was from Elizabeth Hayes' book, um, Initiation. It's called Elizabeth Hayes uh, Remembers Her Past Life where she was a priestess at uh, an Egyptian temple in ancient Egypt. And in her book, uh, at one point, um, her father, the high priest, um, it tells her, uh, he cautions her sternly. Well, mostly about getting involved with humans, people, everyday people. Um, he said the danger is that if you go into certain, uh, let's say, romantic feelings for other people, men, women, or whatever, um, he said that the danger is that you could get trapped with you burning out your delicate nervous system. So it does seem like there is a danger to the nervous system with certain things that can happen here on planet Earth. Why would that be? Because uh, the high priest, let's see if I can get um, a muscle test, calibrates over 540, over 600, over 700, 800, 900, 1,000... A thousand. The high priest in ancient Egypt calibrated at the highest you can get while you're in a human body. Now, in my town, I don't know, a month ago I did a muscle test to see uh, the collective in my town uh, around 203. Scale of human consciousness runs from 1 to 1,000. 1 is an amoeba. 1,000 is Jesus, Buddha, and the high priest from ancient Egypt. 900 is Wayne Gretzky when he's winning the Stanley Cup in ice hockey. I don't know who modern sports guys are. I know it's horrible because Wayne Gretzky is like 1980s. Who's a modern day sports hero who like... Got a grand slam in the World Series, you know, in the past few... I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. Can I name one professional sports person? Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I, def, I don't know. I couldn't give you a rookie. I don't know, because I did watch a few baseball. How come I can't remember any names of any of those players? Because I, I, I just really wasn't paying attention. I don't know. It's like I should be. Anyway, I don't know. I'm getting off topic about getting not being able to get what I want from my memory right now. Anyways, uh, back to our question of the day and the naked nose. Uh, okay, what else do we want to talk about when it comes to the naked nose? I don't know. We're going to try another hat. Okay, motherhood issues. I'm mostly... Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, okay, here we're going to give you this one. Okay, I, this is just all my national inquirers and things that I'm just leaving lying around. But I just did, this is my marketing campaign, and I just did it. I, I got an MBA in marketing, believe it or not, and nobody ever uses me. I don't know why. People just don't know who I am. Okay, so... um. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to do, uh, I'll be back in a second. Everybody should add their own music, but this is my marketing pages. It starts off with 540. So just imagine you're driving down the interstate and at the side of the interstate, there's an enormous billboard and all it says is 540. And you know, over the next, I don't know, week, you'll see this 540 a number of times. I stole this. This has been used as a marketing campaign by somebody else giving you just a cryptic uh, thing. A one word. In this case, it's a number with no context. It's just the content. The content is 540. A number. You know it's a number, but you don't know what it's related to. No, it does, there's no context. So, it, you know, it sticks in your brain. It gets through the clutter because it's like 540. It's like that's non sequitur in uh, Latin. Non sequitur means it doesn't make any sense to me, other than it says 540, but you know, related to 540, the speed limit, or you know, I don't know, no idea. So, anyways, the next week they change the billboard, and you drive by, and the billboard's been changed to this one Galactic Law 540, and you're gonna go, Ooh, this is a new movie. The movie is going to be called Galactic Law, and then there's some other the subtitle, or it's a new uh, a new character is going to be called 540 Galactic Law. I got to keep an eye out for this one. I'm going to go home on YouTube and look for the trailer. Okay, then you go home on the trailer, and I don't know if I was smart and I was running a whole campaign, I would have a trailer for Galactic Law. So anybody who wants to make that, uh, put it up there, Galactic Law 540. Feel free to do it. Okay, next one we're going to do. And a week later, we're going to do 540 and a description of the context. The context of 540 is called the scale of human consciousness. And you can go on the internet and find out all kinds of information about that. David R. Hawkins is the best teacher. Not necessarily. He was a bit old-timer. Aaron Abke is much newer. Aaron Abke, A-B-K-E. Anyways, both those guys teach this kind of stuff. Aaron Dowdy also teaches this stuff. And uh, it's called Unconditional Love. It's called Higher Love or Agape. Those are other, other, other names. 540, it means you need to be, according to the law of the galaxy, you need to be at 540 or higher on the scale of human consciousness. Remember, the collective in my town, when I muscle tested them a month ago, was uh, 203. So, I mean, that's a long way to go. Don't forget that... Uh, this scale runs from 1 to 1,000. 1 is an amoeba. 1,000 is Jesus, Buddha, uh, Krishna, Zoroaster, and this ancient priest from ancient, ancient times, ancient Egypt. It's an exponential logarithmic scale. I don't know. Read Dr. Hawkins' book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness or Power versus Force, to get more information about that kind of stuff. Okay, the next week we're going to change... The page. Raise the vibe tribe, 540, but to give you the idea that, you know, in flow states, when you're winning the Stanley Cup, when you're Wayne Gretzky, you're actually at 900, even, even higher than this. So, you know, this is when, you know, you really should stay at 900 all the time, I, I would say. Higher is better in general. 
And the low end of the scale at the very bottom is apathy and then below apathy is death. You know, zero on the scale would be dead. So, you know, a thousand is like uh, fully alive, more alive than any of us are. So, you know, anybody logical and rational would say we need to move up, raise the vibe tribe. Then the next week we're going to go to go vegan 540. Because, well, especially when you meet extraterrestrials that might look like your farm animals or something. Because they might, they might, you know, and there might, it's just that, you know, in the farm animals themselves, as they get, as you get more conscious, they get more conscious. I mean, there used to be a TV show in the 1960s, black and white, Mr. Ed, a talking mule. I don't know, you get your consciousness up and uh, the the animal spirits uh, might be able to talk to you by telepathy. I'm serious, I'm not kidding. Okay, the next week. Gift Economy 540. Charles Eisenstein's book, uh, Sacred Economics. The Gift Economy is a good textbook. Which means you don't have to carry money. You don't have to carry a purse. You don't have to have like a retinal scan so that they deduct it from your bank account. Because with the gift economy, you don't have to walk around with money. And we're getting rid of uh, identity cards and driver's licenses and all that kind of shit. Because if you want to run naked through the street, then for fuck's sakes, go. I'm not going to stop you and I'm not going to tell you you need to carry all of this identification. Why? Because... We were all born naked for fuck's sake, you stupid prudish people, 2022, and you're so fucking prudish like it's 1890. Didn't you know in 1890 in England, in London, England, all afternoon, the all the lawyers and the doctors, they all closed their offices and they called for their call girl to come over because they did the afternoon big bop. That's what they did. They whored. There were so many women in London. They were all whores because the men didn't want to get married. They want to try out all the different women. Etc. Hugs and grins at 540. I'm serious. It's high vibe. It's fun. It feels good. All right. 540. Follow your bliss. Famous ancient wisdom given to us by Professor Joseph Campbell of the book The Hero of a Thousand Faces and the professor who inspired George Lucas to make Star Wars. Believe it or not, it's all true. Follow your bliss. Okay, the next one. 600, moving up the scale, we go to peace. And if you get to 600, you get a spiritual title called Perfect. So if you want to meet Mr. Perfect or Mrs. Perfect, uh, you got to find somebody who's at 600 on the scale of human consciousness. I'm not going to tell you that yours truly is at 600, but, um, you know, if you learn the muscle test and you do get 600, then you get the right answer. Okay, and uh, angels get their wings at 600 on the scale of human consciousness. Well, you got the spiritual title of perfect, and you're um, a, a winged angel at 600. So, there's your marketing campaign for today. If you want to hire me as your marketing consultant... My name is Bobby Burrows and sometimes I do the naked news.